November day 11. Just in case you're jumping into this vlog and missed the last few, this is my second year doing November, which is basically every day in November I do something new or like try something different. I'm heading to the gym right now and then right after I'm gonna go thrift shopping. I've gone thrifting before, but only for Halloween costumes or have I ever gotten like home decor? I've never actually gone thrift shopping for just everyday clothes. I feel like thrifting is a skill that I do not possess. I don't really know what I'm looking for and I don't have the patience to sift through and find the good stuff. Some people are really good thrifters and I'm jealous, but we're gonna attempt it today. These literally would be the perfect jeans. Length 34, but someone hemmed them. Like, ah! If they hadn't gotten rid of the length, I would 100% get them. Like, why do I love this, but I would never wear it? Have you seen the TikTok of that girl getting kicked out? Or like the girl's like, I want you to leave. And she was wearing the she's bedazzled like, she's like, jeans. Don't get me wrong, I love your jeans. Yeah, these are the TikTok jeans. <laughs> <laughs> these absolutely do not fit in any way. I've decided to leave everything, but Hannah scored some pants. Kirkland's. I got all name brand Adidas, Beth, and Kirkland. Nice. Mm -hmm. So I didn't end up buying anything. I wasn't really in a buying mood. Do you ever go shopping and like some days you feel like buying everything and then other days you just, like even when you see things you like, you don't wanna buy it. I wasn't feeling inspired even though there was actually a lot of stuff. But my sister ended up getting like four pairs of pants and a t-shirt, so a successful day for her. We're gonna go to this grocery store, check it out. Pecan flavored sunflower seed. I feel like Asian stores have very cool good. snacks. Like the hazelnut? Oh yeah, I've had those ones. Oh, they have all oh, the Pockies. Mmm, these are good. Frozen sweet potato? <laughs> We're gonna try these. New thing. Open here. Oh, I'm excited. I'm like salivating. Mmm, it's pretty good. I don't think I've ever had mochi before, actually. Really? Uh-uh. It's literally just like rice paper. With ice cream inside? Mm-hmm. Kind of tastes like a McDonald's chocolate ice cream. Mm-hmm. It's just so satisfying to bite into it. I know. Okay. Good morning. Oh, please have, oh. I thought I didn't bring lip balm for a second. That would be a tragedy. I just dropped Tika off at my mom's because I'm heading up to Whistler for the day. I'm driving into Vancouver right now and I'm gonna meet up with Steven and Lindsay and then we're gonna all drive to Whistler from there and we're gonna go to the Scandinavian Spa. It is a long weekend. Also, I have a pimple patch here if you can see that. That's what that is. But yeah, it's a long weekend so I think it's gonna be super busy which is why we're leaving. It's like 7 a.m. right now. We're gonna try to get up there for when it opens. Looks like it's gonna be a nice day. It's gonna be cold, but it's clear and sunny, so it should be really beautiful. Is 100% pure leather. I cannot have coffee on it. Lambskin! Who's order two? I 
I'm having a bit of a reset Sunday today. I have this mask on because my skin is just recovering right now from a pretty bad breakout. I oiled my scalp last night and then did a detox wash this morning. And I think I'm actually gonna take my extensions out today and just give my hair a little bit of a break because I don't really have anything going on for the next couple weeks. So I thought it'd be a good time. And I also think I'm going to attempt a parasite cleanse. My sister sent me a TikTok the other day and it reminded me that I have this tincture in my cupboard, which I'll show you. This is black walnut and wormwood and you can use this to kill parasites in your body. I don't know, I bought this a while ago and I've just never used it, so. I thought I would give this a go. But yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit more research on this. But if any of you guys have taken this, let me know. I'm not gonna start this today though. Again, I just wanted to do like a little bit more research and planning. But I might start this tomorrow. But I wanna share with you my new thing for today. This is something I ordered a few days ago off of Amazon. We'll do a little unboxing. A brand gifted me this robe. It's from Pottery Barn and it is so lush. It's amazing. I've been gifted so many robes. But this one is my favorite. This is what I got. This is a water pick. So it's basically like a water flosser for your teeth. I've been really obsessed with oral care recently and like my teeth. I wanted to add this into my routine just to like up to my game a little bit. A little update on my like dental appointments because I was supposed to get my chips fixed the other day but we ended up doing x-rays and we made a digital mold for my teeth. So I'm actually going back in a couple weeks to do that. And then I'm also getting a whole bunch of fillings and it's gonna be like $2,000, so that's fun. I just wanna make sure everything is like pristine and my teeth are gonna last me for my life. I don't think they're bad cavities, like I could leave my teeth for a while, but it's just, there's it's something I'd have to get to eventually. So I kind of just wanna do it now and get it over with. So this is my new Oral irrigator, spa for your mouth, and I'm gonna start using this today. My sister took my extensions out for me yesterday and she cut a chunk of my hair off. Hannah! <laughs> this is my hair! Anyways, luckily it was in a random spot, so you can't even tell. Every single time I get my extensions taken out, my hair looks the exact same. My hair has been this length and thickness for like 10 years. Also, I am not looking for any hair advice. New thing for the day, I got this scalp scrubber. It feels so good. I just ordered this off Amazon. I also got this off of Amazon. So I'll link it below. But I'm gonna use this in the shower when I shampoo my hair. I like to give my scalp a lot of attention when I don't have my extensions in because I have like full access to it. I can never like get back here when I have my extensions in. I'm just gonna throw my hair right back up because I don't like having my hair down. I'm just heating up leftovers. This is what I had for dinner last night. Is it all hot? I just threw a bunch of stuff together but it actually ended up tasting really good. This is like a red pesto sauce that I got at Costco and then chicken, asparagus, and gnocchi. So that is lunch. I also just got this package dropped off. I think it's toothpaste. So this is a new brand and they sent over three tubes of toothpaste. Have you ever seen such aesthetic toothpaste? They also included this bag and there's a towel in here, a hat. I also stopped by the mall after the gym and I was just gonna get one thing from H&M. Ended up coming home with two bags. H&M is so hit or miss for me. I either love everything or hate everything. But I thought I would film a try on haul for like fall winter clothes. So I'm actually gonna pick up a few more things from online and then I'm gonna film a video. I actually started filming a fall fashion video and it's like halfway done, but I left it for so long that now I feel like it's kind of irrelevant. Like the weather's too cold. I don't know, I might still post it. Good morning. Ooh, I like the tree. I'm trying a new bread today. This is quinoa bread. It's made from spelt flour, rye flour, millet flour, filtered water, white quinoa seeds, quinoa flour, rye kernels, chia seeds, flax seeds, sea salt, and yeast. Looks like this, I just toasted these. I'm gonna do some jam and almond butter. 
we're back with another front room configuration. I think this one might make the most sense. I do need to figure out where I'm gonna store the vacuum cleaner because I don't really want that in here. The walls need something, but now I can't decide if I want stuff on this wall or this wall or above there. A couple people recommended getting built-ins for this room, which is honestly a really good idea, but I would have to get rid of all this furniture and it's just like too much of a house right now. Also, I don't know, like if I go to resell, like this is technically a den, but if I had built-ins, I feel like this wouldn't be considered a room anymore because it would take up like half the space. I don't know, like if I was planning on staying here for a long time, I feel like it would be a great idea because just like the storage would be amazing, but something to think about for like maybe later down the line, depends what I end up doing with this apartment and if I stay here or not. But so anyways, just wanted to show you the configuration. What do you guys think of the mirror in the corner, the bench here? I just got to my yoga studio. I'm doing a class today. I'm trying a new class again. I have not done the specific one before. They haven't opened the doors yet. I think I need to wait like a few more minutes, but my ponytail is so sad. It's literally see-through. And again, I'm not looking for advice. I feel like people are gonna comment anyways, but, and I know people mean well, I've just, I've heard it all. I just, I don't understand what like the root issue is or is this just how my hair is? Like, I don't know. Like, what is this? Like three strands of hair. I wanted to wait a couple weeks before putting my extensions back in, but I think I'm gonna call the salon today and book an appointment to get them put back in just because I have no desire to go out and do things, go to events, go out on the weekend when I can't do my hair. I just, I don't feel like my best self. I ordered JS Health hair and energy vitamins the other day. They should get here. I got expedited shipping. It should be here in a couple days. But I've seen a lot of reviews on that. People seem to like them. Gonna give it a go. But the key ingredients in those vitamins is iodine from sea kelp and zinc. And I've actually been taking those vitamins separately. I don't know if the formulation and like the mix of things somehow works better. I do think my scalp probably has something to do with it like i've just been i've struggled with my scalp health for so many years it's just constantly dry and flaky and these people this is their car hang on okay vlogging when people are beside me what was i saying i don't know i just can't get to the root problem i've tried oiling i've tried exfoliation i've tried every single type of dandruff shampoo like active ingredient i've tried two different medications from the doctor i've also taken omega-3s flax oil like internal things i don't know can't figure it out but gonna keep trying but until then I'm wearing my extensions and do not tell me to not wear my extensions because the whole reason I got extensions is because my hair is like this. Like, it's not what created the problem. So, okay. I'm gonna sweat out this stress. The mantra in today's class was be kind to yourself. So I just wanna say to all the hairs on my head, thank you for being here. I appreciate you and please invite your friends. Although there is a lot, they just don't grow very far. That's like the problem. Like I have a lot of hair on my head, but like most of it only goes out to like here. Right now I'm kind of in, I'm in a phase right now where I don't feel like doing anything. I think it it's to do, it's really cold outside. It gets dark at like 4 p.m. My energy levels are majorly impacted by the weather. And just like in the winter here, I get kind of just like sleepy, no motivation, don't want to leave my house. Events have really been picking up. I have a lot of invitations that I've kind of been avoiding, not responding to. Like my whole thing with November is to just like push myself to do more. And truly, I think this is the one month where I find it the hardest. So anyways, I've kind of been lacking motivation to vlog my days as well, which I've been like editing this and I feel like it's just been like little, little tidbits here and there. And I'm not like, I haven't been loving my November vlogs. Get down on myself because I feel like I'm not happy with what I'm creating and I know I could be doing more and I just, I just can't find it in myself to like do it though. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I feel like I need a little bit of time to just regroup myself. I might take a couple days off of November and get back to it. I, I wanna be putting more effort in. I'm gonna shower and try to like organize my life, so. I'll be back soon, hopefully with a little bit more motivation because there's a lot of things I could be doing this month, but I'm just not doing them. So I'll be back, just need a minute. So I'll see you guys soon.